Hi, it's Rick Levin, and I'm here to tell you about a number of real estate auctions that we have coming up in Illinois, Wisconsin, Iowa, and Minnesota. They're all from a bank. They're all from a bank, and they're all to be sold uh, absolute, regardless of price, no matter how low. And there's some varying dates at these properties and varying types of properties. So let's just kind of take take it from the top and begin. On uh, on June seventh, on June seventh, uh, in uh, fourteen fifty eight Edgewood Court, uh, we have a, a lot, and in uh, and that's in Davis, Illinois, and at six hundred eight Lincoln Street in Mononk, Illinois, a single family residence. That's on June seventh at the property. Again, both bank owned, both to be sold absolute regardless of price. Um, on June tenth. We have properties in Wisconsin. Um, we have, uh, it looks like all vacant lots, and it, it's lot 110 Timber Shore in Adams, Wisconsin, lot 3 Ash Avenue in Arkdale, Wisconsin, lot 109 Timber Shores also in Arkdale, Wisconsin, lot 56 Petenwell Landing in Arkdale, Wisconsin, um, lot 64 Lakes Edge. In Friendship, Wisconsin, 1600 Royal Crown Court in Green Bay, uh, Wisconsin, and uh, something on Balsam Row in Shawano, Wisconsin, all being sold absolute regardless of price. The auction will be at the Hilton Garden, 1355 West 20th Avenue in Oshkosh, Wisconsin at 7 p.m. That's the night of the 10th of June. 2010. Lots of information about those properties will start appearing if they haven't already here on the website. Please keep checking back for information about those properties. Again, all lender owned, all to be sold, absolute regardless of price. Also on June 10th, over at the Ramada, 205 South Barstow Street in Eau Claire, Wisconsin, we've got a lot at uh, lot 18 at 30th Street, Comstock, Wisconsin, and lot 1 and 2, Sunset Valley, Galesville, Wisconsin, and uh, North 4770 Weston Falls Avenue in Nielsville, Wisconsin, a lot as well. All those three properties, along with um, uh, a lot at 932 218th Avenue in Somerset, Wisconsin. 211162 62nd Street in Somerset, Wisconsin, and Lot 11 to 18th Avenue in Somerset, Wisconsin, are also at the Ramada, also on the 10th of June. Uh, that auction is at 10 a.m. All of those properties, all those properties bank owned, all those properties to be sold, absolute, regardless of price, no matter how low. We also have some properties coming up. Um, on, uh, on uh, the 24th of June, bank owned to be sold absolute regardless of price. We have a lot at 7305 North 95th Street in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Uh, that auction's at 1 p.m. Also at that auction is a single family home at 6872 North 42nd Street in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And we have a lot at, uh, we're calling it Lot 15 South Fern Lane in Oxford, Wisconsin. Those three properties uh, along with a property from another seller, will all be at the residence in 648 North Plankinton Avenue in Milwaukee, Wisconsin at 1 p.m. on June 24th. And those three properties that I just mentioned are bank owned and will be sold absolute regardless of price. Uh, wrapping up uh, some of the auctions that we'll be doing is uh, an auction on 611, 611 at uh, 1230 at the property in Sister Bay, Wisconsin, a condo at 10571 Highway 57, Unit 102 in Sister Bay, Wisconsin. Um, and uh, we have two other properties. Uh, by the way, that is bank owned at the property, sold absolute regardless of price on the 11th of June at 1230. We also have two other properties. One's uh, in Iowa and one's in Minnesota. The property in Iowa is Lot 50, Coves of Sundown Lake, Moravia, Iowa. Um, that will be done online. Check the website soon. And we have a property in Minnesota on County Road 10 in Osakis, Minnesota. Also will be conducted online. Both those, those two properties, the one in Iowa and Minnesota, will be uh, conducted in conjunction with the licensed real estate broker and auctioneer in either Iowa or Minnesota 
uh, where required by law. And further, both will be sold absolute regardless of price right here on the website. Check for the dates of those auctions coming soon. For all of the live properties that we just talk, talked about, other than the last two that will be done online, you're going to need to bring a small cashier's check if you want to bid on those properties. You'll see here in the weeks leading up to the auction that there will be a real estate contract appearing on the website. Please review that contract. Show it to your attorney if you don't know what a real estate contract says. There will be some information about each of the properties uh, propagating up here on the site as well so you can see information about each particular property. You're always welcome to call our office uh, at 773-252-4500 and ask questions about the property. If you're the high winning bidder the day of the auction, uh, you should bring a cashier's check, uh, typically payable to yourself. Uh, if you're not the winning bidder, you'll take it back to the lender where you got your cashier's check from uh, or your bank. If you're the high winning bidder, you'll endorse it over to an escrow account. Uh, as stipulated in the real estate contract. Again, the contract that will appear here on the website in the weeks leading up to the auction. And then we're going to ask you to f sign that real estate contract, put down your initial earnest money, typically in uh, increase your earnest money to 10% down the day of the auction, and then ask you to close approximately a month after the auction. It's a very straightforward process. These properties uh, just about every one of them are being sold absolute regardless of price, all owned by a bank. What a wonderful opportunity to name your own price on properties right now in 2010. Thank you very much for your continued interest in, in these auctions, and we look forward to seeing you at some of the open houses and at the auction. Thank you.